The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 393 Playing Guard Roulette. Hello? Shinespark confidently approached the two blue armored griffins guarding the reformed newspaper line. Gerardo, having decided at the last second that it might be better for the pony who was actually from Sosa to go first. The Griffins glanced between each other and then back down at her, and both shrugged. We don't know anything that's not in the paper, kid, the female one said. If you're worried, don't be, but you'll learn more reading that than talking to us. Her partner bobbed his plumed helmeted head in agreement. We're just keeping the peace in case any panic or trouble breaks out. Practically entire guards been deployed. Keep a level head, and we'd be grateful, citizen. Shinespark gave a wry grin, making sure she had the best way to ask without sounding like a fraud or attention seeker. Actually, I'm here because I know something about Iron Ridge that doesn't sound like it's in the latest news. Can you tell me how to get this to whoever is making decisions? It's very important. The male griffin gave a sad shrug, smiling cluelessly. That's what the last guy said. The castle is probably inundated with imposters right now who are jealous of all the fame that Kato fellow is getting. Sorry, but events this big are out of both of our legs. His companion shuffled uncertainly, punching him in the shoulder with a metallic clang. Yeah, but the last guy also smelled bad, had a nasty mane, and straight up asked for a VIP room in the palace. This lady looks respectable, if a little young. And if she's telling the truth, I think they really, really do need information out there. She's more likely than the last one to be the real deal, at least. Shinespark held a serious frown, trying her best to turn it into a polite smile. That's why I'm asking if you can tell me where to go. I'm not looking for money or recognition. No one should be trying to do that at a time like this. Is there anything you can tell me? The Griffins looked at each other once again. You're new to Stormhoof? one asked. Just got in then, I presume? Uh, Shinespark nodded back at the gate to the wharf. Stepped off the boat minutes ago and just read the news. If I'd known the Empire was this close to heavily committing to anything, I'd have hurried a lot faster. A boat from Anridge? The Griffins both raised eyebrows. Haven't heard of that in ages. It's the only way in or out now, Shinespark's shoulders slumped. The skyport was destroyed, so the airships there have no way to refuel, and anyone who flies in gets stuck. The male Griffin swallowed. That actually could be serious. I'll tell you what. I have no idea whether you're lying or not, but right now, you should check the Coliseum. Pools are going right now, so there should be a lot of important people around. If you can find and convince someone of the ties to get you into the palace, you're telling the truth. That might go quickly in your favor. I'm sure the palace will also have some official input area where you can talk to an inspector or something, the female added with a shrug. But I better be aligned for that. Either way, good luck. Shinespark almost turned away, then blinked. If I knew one of the ponies on that airship that was mentioned in the paper, would that be proof enough that I just came from Ironridge? If they vouch for you? Probably. The female straightened her stance, going back to guarding the news line. Have fun! The Griffins started murmuring to each other about drama and glory seekers as Shinespark galloped back to where the others were waiting. Did you hear that? she asked, panting lightly for breath. Only irrelevant details, Gerardo drummed his talons against the stone, Starlight, Maple, and Slipstream waiting in the background. Fill us in? Shinespark sighed. The guards were helpful, but also skeptical. The guards were helpful, but also skeptical. Where's the Coliseum? They recommended we go there first. I'll tell you what they said on the way. The Colosseum, Gerardo proudly explained as the group walked under a gated arch and up a ramp separating levels of the city, is a great stone battle arena where gladiatorial fights of old were held and takes up a sizable portion of the fortress. It sees use for everything from sporting events to royal concerts and is the primary venue for any truly large public event hosted by the Stormhub family. These pools the gods were referring to, I believe, are the opening round of an annual fighting tournament sponsored by the Imperial family Though I've never counted myself in attendance, and it is one of the parts of my country's heritage I know less about. However, I feel it is safe to say that, once we are no longer in a hurry, watching the duels should prove excellent entertainment. Slipstream swooped up, then dropped back down before she could get lost. If it looks like a sort of round, very big hole in the ground, I see it. It's a little that way, she pointed with a wing. Gerardo benevolently beamed. 
I very much doubt it's the kind of thing you could see and not recognize. Maple swallowed, walking along with Starlight on her back. So, what kinds of important ponies should we be looking for? Who might we find? It's nice that the guards are helpful, but do you know anything about anyone else? The royal families? Gerardo shrugged. I imagine the preliminary rounds of any tournament wouldn't hold such a pull as the finals, but it is likely we'll see a large assortment of those who are wealthy enough to travel for entertainment. Some of the noble houses may be present as well. While I have no doubt Lord Stormhoof will be busy with decisions regarding the events in Anridge, it is quite likely other members of his family will be present. As it is an imperial event, I'm also quite sure at least one of the Crown siblings will be present, though I can't say which is more likely. Perhaps some of the other houses as well. Any ideas on which ones we should check first, or avoid? Shinespark raised an eyebrow. Gerardo happily opened his beak, preparing to narrate. The Empire, as you may know, has twelve houses that rule its various provinces. One is the Imperial family, ruling Garshiva's province in the south. We are presently in Stormhof, southernmost of the coastal provinces, under the rule of Garland Stormhof. My home manor was in the far eastern province of Goldfeather, though I believe its current lord has a different house name it is now recognized by. It is something of a choice new lords have whether to rename themselves, their land, or neither. Following, we have the landlocked Isvaldi province you may recognize as Kira's home mentioned in that paper. I recall it was of great interest several years ago, as its lord was ailing with no suitable heirs, making it next in line to pass to Prince Gazelle, though as far as I am aware they have not yet merged ways. Far to the north, then, there are provinces of Jaya and Wilderwind, and— So who do we want to talk to? Shinesburg interrupted. Which of these might not be temperamental or have better ties to Stormhoof? House Everlast, Gerardo instantly replied. Theirs is the most southeastern province, and along with Stormhoof, one of the two longest reigning families in the Empire. Stormhoof and them have had an alliance for quite some time. That said, I know nothing of the disposition. Our other best option may be to seek out one of the crowned siblings if they are here. Maple gave him a worried glance. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? Don't forget what we're doing. I doubt these important nobles are going to be just sitting around waiting for us to walk up to them, and our goal is to tell someone that Ironridge is fine, not to get to know nobles. Besides, I'd really like not to get sucked into anything important. There has to be someone more professional we can talk to than... whatever you're planning. She has a point, Slipstream remarked, shrugging. It sounds like you're just trying to go and talk to a Sphinx. Wouldn't they be guarded? I'm more worried we get played with, Maple sighed. If one thought we were valuable and try to pick us up or use us as leverage against another, and... Uh, I don't know, but that's how you made them sound earlier, Gerardo. Gerardo hung his head. No, you're quite right, and I believe that is liable to happen. Someday I should tell you the stories about my own ancestor and the things he did. However, the advice we were given still stands, and as we are nearly to the Colosseum, I am inclined to pursue it at least by myself, Though you are more than welcome to stay back and enjoy the event, if you'd prefer it. Maple glanced the starlight on her back and nodded. I think if we're all in the same building, I'll do that. But come get us if you find anything where we can actually make progress. Noted, Gerardo bowed. In the event that I make a breakthrough, I shall most certainly come running. Shinespark, are you with me? Shinespark nodded, and they strode further along the curving streets into the heart of the White City. End of chapter 393